between equilibrium constant, reaction quotient and Gibbs energy. Let us now understand relationship between equilibrium constant K, reaction quotient Q and Gibbs energy G. If delta G is negative then the reaction is spontaneous and proceeds in the forward direction. Delta G gives free energy change that is delta G equals the work exchanged by the system with its surrounding less the work of the pressure forces during a reversible transformation of the system from the same initial state to the same final state that is for a closed system that is G equals to U plus PV minus TS which can also be written as G equals to H minus TS where U is the internal energy in Joule P is pressure in Pascal, V is volume in meter cube, T is temperature in Kelvin, S is entropy in Joule per Kelvin and H is the enthalpy in Joule. If delta G is positive then reaction is considered non-spontaneous. Instead, as reverse reaction would have a negative delta G, the products of the forward reaction shall be converted to the reactants. Non-spontaneous A reaction which cannot occur without the input of work from an external source. That is, delta G greater than zero for spontaneous reaction at temperature. If delta G is zero, reaction has achieved equilibrium. At this point, there is no longer any free energy left to drive the reaction. A mathematical expression of this thermodynamic view of equilibrium can be described by the following equation. That is, delta G equals to delta G naught plus RT ln Q, where so of PCL5 is equals to 3 when delta G equals to 0 and Q equal to Kc the equation becomes delta G equals to delta G naught plus RT ln K which is equals to 0. This implies that delta G naught equals to minus RT ln K which on simplifying we get ln K equals to minus delta G naught upon RT. Taking anti log of both the side we get k equals to e k power minus delta g naught upon rt. If delta g naught less than 0, minus delta g naught upon rt greater than 0. This implies that e k power minus delta g naught upon rt greater than 1. It further implies that k is greater than 1. This implies that a spontaneous reaction or the reaction which proceeds in the forward direction to such an extent that the products are present predominantly. If delta G naught greater than 0, minus delta G naught upon RT is less than 0. This implies that E k power minus delta G naught upon RT less than 1, which further implies that K is less than 1. This implies that a non-spontaneous reaction or a reaction which proceeds in forward direction to such a small degree that only a very minute quantity of product is formed.